Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about retrying the failed test cases to a certain number of times. And this feature is helpful or useful while doing the end to end testing using frameworks like Selenium, you know, Cypress, your WebDriver IO. All right. It is not recommended for the unit test cases. And the reason is quite obvious, right? Because in end to end test cases, it's really hard to mock and stub, you know, those dependencies. All right. Uh, timeout is let's say if a particular test case is taking longer and this happens into integration and you know your end-to-end -end testing because there are just so many moving parts involved if a test is taking longer right so you may need to either you know extend the default timeout of mocha which is 2000 milliseconds or you can take a decision hey because of these test cases you know the overall execution time is increased and I would like to keep it under, let's say, a specific amount of time. So then you can reduce the time out of Mocha and speed up the overall project uh, test execution. Skip is basically, so you have multiple suites or you, let's say you have multiple test cases inside a suite. So whatever test cases that you want to exclude, you are going to use this keyword skip and whatever test cases that you want to include or the suite for that matter you want to include then, it's a reverse of skip, so you are going to use only. All right, so let us open the Visual Studio Code. And what are we going to do? So this is basically a uh, same uh, uh, file. So I just remove the this dot retry. So this is the same file which we worked on in the in the previous videos. All right, so in in dot mocha rcjs, you can you can specify all these settings like you know the timeout. Uh, and the retries. So by default, the retries is zero and the timeout is set to 2000 milliseconds. All right. So what you can do is you can change it to, let's say, here three. So how would it work? The test case would be executed, right? And if it passes, so there would be no retries. All right. If the test case fails, then only these retries are activated. And once a test case is failed, it would be executed three times, right? Uh, in a way that you know if it gets passed in the first reattempt, the remaining two retries would be skipped all right how it keeps on failing right the attempts number of attempts that it would be retried would be three maximum and if after the last attempt the test case is still failing it would be marked as fail otherwise if it passes in the last attempt it would be considered as passed all right so that's your retry and let's now move on to the code. Uh, so, so basically when, when, when you uh, pass in these values in here, they are applicable to your project, right? But at times you want to just, you know, limit it to uh, your specific suite or test cases. Then how are you going to do that? All right. So what you can do here now is, so you're going to say this dot and you're going to say retries all right and then you can pass in the number in here all right so in here let's uh, keep it to zero all right and so i just want this particular suite to be executed three times means any test case inside that suite if it is being failing right so we are going to reattempt three times all right however there is a catch in here so if i save this and run this particular test case all right it is going to give me an error All right, so now we see the error is this dot retries is not a function and it is happening because of the lexical binding caused by this fat arrow syntax. So if you change it to normal function, then this is available because now this refers to Mocha's context. All right, so in Mocha's context, retries is available but with that fat arrow this refers to this function and this function does not have that method retry all right so this is how you have to do it and same way for your test cases also so let us go in here and we say function and if i can let's say change it to this dot 
retries right now you see that the retries is available and i can say five so what will happen is this particular test case if it fails there are three re there are five re attempts right for this specific test case but for the other test case the retries are set to three all right and these values overwrite what you have mentioned in here all right so even if you say 10 all right and then you pass in the values in these suites and test cases they hold higher precedence so this hold the retry inside the it block holds higher precedence over this and this holds higher precedence over this value that's how it works all right so we keep it to zero all right and if we run this test case now all right so this will work so let's keep it to one and let's keep it to two all right so now what we have to do we have to fail this test case all right so let us fail this test case and let us execute that to see if it is being retried all right so the first one is failed all right and the other two are passed however there is no such information regarding whether it's being reattempted or not all right and this is how it is implemented so uh, we can prove that you know it works this retry works so what we have to do is we are going to say let count is equal to zero all right and we are going to log this value all right and we are going to say uh, retry attempt number okay and then we are going to say count all right and then we are going to increment the value of this count all right so now let us re-execute this all right and check this out so you could see that re-attempt uh, retry attempt zero right then retry attempt one and two so these are our retry attempt because inside the test case if you could see we have set this value to two okay so this is going to happen only if the test case is being failing all right so if i just change it to this so what i'm going to see here is the first time this will be logged right so it is going to be retry attempt zero all right but this will not be activated this will be executed right but the test cases are not failing and hence you will not see more attempts all right so if i save this and execute it again all right so this is how it works okay so we have talked about this now what about the timeout all right so what is the timeout being set here so all right so the timeout being set here is 2000 right and now let me just take this concept out of retry and we have to focus on timeout okay so let us check this out again the concept is very much same you can have the the uh, project level timeout setting provided here then you can have the suite level setting and then you have the test case level setting so if i say this dot um timeout okay and if i say let us just fail that so we say 200 milliseconds all right so if the test case takes this particular value you know, thing you know, this test case takes longer than 200 milliseconds then uh, you will see timeout error all right so let us execute that all right so timeout of 200 milliseconds all right so this is how this timeout works okay see we have now skip and only and as the name suggests right so only specifies that you know you just want to execute this suite or test case and skip is the reverse of only so by adding those skip uh, tags you can say that okay hey i want to skip this suite or skip skip this test case all right so the way it works is and i would like to just you know take a copy of this and paste it one more time so if you say i want to execute only this suite all right so what i'm going to say is i'm going to just 
append this to, to differentiate between these two suites so let me save that and if I execute this so only the first suite would get executed all right so you could see that only one suite is being executed second is not all right and if I do the reverse of this if I say skip all right so this one would be skipped and suite 2 would get executed so let's save this and execute this okay so now you could see that three pending means that this has been skipped all right and three passing this is executed okay so anytime you skip something the status represents pending all right so that's how to figure out okay now we have talked about only and skip so i'm going to just take this out and now we are going to work at the test case level so you can again say dot skip and if you skip this the status of this would be pending and other two will get executed all right so let me execute that so now there is only one suite and you could see that this one is pending all right and the other two are passed okay and you can do the opposite of this and you can say only and only the first one would be executed and the other two would be in the pending state all right so this is about skip and only in mocha thank you so much